Hello, my name is Liesl. Today, I'm going to show you how to get even more design freedom out of Canva by exploring the rotate and flip functions. These tools will give you so much more flexibility and design possibilities. So if you're ready to expand your Canva knowledge, come with me. You can flip most of the elements in Canva. Let me show you. This is like a ornamental sun element that I found when I went to elements. As soon as I click on it, you will see this flip option appear. When I click on flip, it will give you option to either flip it horizontally, which in this case doesn't really matter because it's just, it looks the same on both sides, or you can flip it vertically. And this is what we're going to use now. So we've got this element. I'm going to duplicate it, move it down a little bit, flip, flip vertically. Now I'm going to drag it down and place it here in the middle, and a little bit down to create a full circle. Let's move on to the next graphic. So here I've got a little animation. If I click on it, the flip option will come up again. So let's flip this one horizontally. And now the box opens to the other side. Let's flip an image. Now on this post, I want to create a border of coffee beans on the top and on the bottom. So I've chosen this picture. It's a white background with some coffee beans at the top. So let's drag this photo to the top make it a little bit bigger so that it fills up the space there. I'm going to duplicate the photo, flip, flip vertically to take the coffee beans to the bottom, drag this to the bottom of the image, click out of it, and now I've got a background with coffee beans on the top and on the bottom. To rotate an element on Canva, you will click on the element, this little rotate button will come up. Now, if you've worked in something like Photoshop before, you might want to go up to a corner and start dragging, but that's not going to work in Canva. You have to keep your left mouse click onto this rotate button, and then you start rotating from there, dragging either to the left or the right. And as you do so, you will also see the degrees come up which uh, will help you if you want to have a specific degree like 90 degrees or 180 or whatever. So let's just turn this uh, rectangle. Let's leave it there for now. Let's put it there. Make it a bit bigger. And now we can also group rotate. So you can click onto a few of the elements that you would like to rotate together. So for example, I will click on my first bit of text, hold shift and the next three to group. Then this rotate button comes up, click on there again with the left mouse and then you can start turning it whichever way you want to. Let's leave it there. And that's how you use the rotate button. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you learned something new today. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment for me and hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye-bye.